Spotting a cute animal often tempts us to reach out and caress them. Yet some endearing creatures, despite their allure, are best left untouched. Here are the most charming animals you should resist the urge to touch. Number seven, glass frogs. The little amphibians, known as glass frogs or see-through frogs, are actually a whole bunch of different species that have the common feature of being so very naked that you can see their insides. They're sometimes kind of glass-like and completely transparent, but usually these cute little creatures are bright green, but with thin enough translucent skin that you can actually see their teeny weeny hearts beating, as well as their livers and slightly more revoltingly, their digestive systems. Most glass frogs live in trees for the best part of the year, but they do come down from their homes to get it on with other frogs during mating season. That's when they can be found hanging around by rivers and streams, trying to make themselves look all pouty and alluring, so as to snag a mate. Perhaps their see-through feature is one of the ways that potential suitors check each other out. A good strong heartbeat, healthy digestive transit, you know, the usual stuff that gets you in the mood for romance. Now these little frogs may not be harmful to you, but you shouldn't touch them, as you may be harmful to them. There's something to think about. I know, but you really shouldn't go around poking your grubby little fingers anywhere you please. That's only gonna get you in trouble. Number six, leopard seals. Seals are so cute and roly-poly and big-eyed and cannibalistic. What? That doesn't sound quite so cute. Named for their spotty, leopardish patterned coat. The leopard seal is the fiercest and meanest of all the seals. They're very skilled hunters, and their favorite dinner is actually warm-blooded and often seal-shaped. These heavyweight seals can tip the scales at 840 pounds, measuring up to 11 and a half feet, and they live in chilly Antarctic waters where they keep warm on the account of the hefty layer of blubber they keep under their speckly skin. While it's true that these guys are partial to the odd small seal, they're also especially efficient at swallowing penguins and other seabirds. The leopard seal has a super powerful jaw and some particularly pointy teeth. They can be seen hanging out by an ice shelf, basically waiting for penguins to jump right into their open mouths or make a surprise attack from underwater as birds land on the surface. These animals may have really cute faces, but they're as ruthless as they come. Number five, the panda. Now I know, I know, pandas are just so freaking adorable. They can't possibly be deadly, right? Well, these guys are always up to something funny, like sneezing or causing a zookeeper to run around in circles with their naughty behavior. However, all those videos you've seen of pandas, well, those are pandas in captivity. A wild panda is a different beast altogether with so much of what we understand about pandas being based on captive ones and what they do, what about the wild panda's behavior? Well, what we do actually know is that these bears have a wild side, and they are, well, real horny. It's true that even wild pandas do spend most of their time eating tons of bamboo, and as a result, they poop up to 100 times a day. That's right, 100 poops per day. They're also capable of some pretty fierce behavior. A few people have had the misfortune of discovering just how fierce a cute panda can get. The panda's ability to chew through all that bamboo. Well, that means they also have a super high bite force, and it also means they can definitely tear a chunk out of a nice, soft human limb. That's exactly what one panda did to an inebriated individual who took an ill-advised shortcut through a panda enclosure. Ouch. That's gonna leave a mark. Number four, moose. The massive Alaskan moose is the largest of all moose kind, and there are estimated to be between 175,000 and 200,000 of these monster moose just mooching around Alaska. These big animals can measure a whopping seven feet from hoof to shoulder, so that doesn't even include their huge head and antlers. A large male moose, well, they can actually weigh as much as 1,000 600 pounds. That, in and of itself, is an astonishing size. In fact, the only land mammal in North America that's larger is the bison. The male moose grows a mighty pair of new antlers every spring and sheds the old ones in winter, and obviously, they need to keep up with the latest. 
The Alaskan moose are not only big, but also dangerous. Despite the fact that these animals are strictly herbivores, spending their days chomping on plants, they can be super aggressive if they feel in any way whatsoever threatened. The female moose, well, she'll not hesitate to hoof you to kingdom come if she feels you be a threat to her baby. So the fact is, never mess with a moose because it might end up being your last mistake. Number three, elephants. Elephants are magnificent, intelligent, and famously vegetarian. So what could possibly be making these beautiful animals turn up on a list of deadly creatures? Well, to be honest, it's the horrible way that humans have treated elephants that have caused it. Elephants, well, they never forget it may be an old saying, but it still remains true. While elephants are highly intelligent and sensitive mammals, they also have extraordinary memories, and many, many elephants have some pretty horrific memories of just what humans have done to them and their families. In recent decades, there have mercifully been greater efforts to protect the species and to introduce areas for the elephant to live without the threat of hunters. However, as life on planet Earth becomes increasingly difficult for many people, as well as animals, The size of these elephant reserves is frequently not big enough for the elephants to avoid contact with humans, and it seems as though the elephants are basically suffering from PTSD, which humans often suffer from when they're exposed to horrifying and dangerous experiences. It makes sense that elephants can also experience this as well. They do remember, after all, and since most bad things that happen to elephants have been done to them by humans, you can imagine how they might feel about them. Oh and it can end badly when they meet. Number two, the shrew. Shrews? Deadly? Don't be silly. The killer shrews was just a 1950s B movie, wasn't it? These cute little long-nosed creatures have a few surprising characteristics, but let's see if they're deadly. Even in just the slightest shrews are busy little creatures and move very fast. They have to eat a lot to survive, and if they don't eat within a few hours, then they're gonna die, and they have to eat their own body weight's worth of food per day. They mainly eat insects, worms, seeds, berries, and as they are short-sighted, they use their whiskers and sense of smell to help them find food. So far, not so deadly. So really, what is it about the seemingly harmless shrew that puts them amongst these other cute but deadly creatures? Well, this is weird, but many shrews, they're actually venomous. A bite from a shrew can kill a mouse and leave a nasty, swollen, and painful bite on a human. So, you don't want to go around poking them. The scariest thing about this particular shrew feature is that a shrew likes to keep its prey alive so that it can return to it again and again when other food is scarce. The venom will paralyze the prey so it's unable to move, but it won't actually kill it. This provides the shrew the ability to take its time with its meal. You know, death by a thousand nibbles, and perhaps that old horror movie wasn't so far off the truth after all. Number one, beavers. I know, beavers, they're so cute, but beavers, while they're harboring a deadly secret, they may actually be psychos. These funny little guys have bright orange teeth, beady eyes, and flat tails, and they can literally chomp right through your finger. So stop poking them for Pete's sake. In fact, there's actually a story of a poor, unfortunate chap in Belarus who met an untimely demise at the creepy little claws of a beaver. This guy was just trying to take a good beaver shot, but that little creature was not about to give up his image rights without a fight, and a battle would ensue. The guy, well, he ended up losing, who knew that a beaver could sever an artery. The guy bled out until he was quite dead and never even got his picture. Then in 2018, a man in Pennsylvania hopped in his kayak for a lovely day out. Little did he know that beavers disapprove of canoes and won't tolerate such silly boats. A beaver showing its displeasure attempted to board the vessel and the dude laid a few wallops on the creature with his paddle, but that was one feasty beaver. 
It tried another form of attack and then went to the guy's daughter, at which the guy battered it to death with a stick. So seriously, just don't tickle a beaver. Some of them really don't like you, and some of them even have rabies. That was quite a thrilling journey through a mixture of adorable yet perilous creatures, wasn't it? Do you have a favorite animal that is simultaneously snuggly and deadly? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to explore more exciting content appearing on your screen, and see you in the next one.